I have, and we are the Dads Who Score. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to our show. Welcome to Monthly Mayhem. It's the best time of the month because I love Monthly Mayhem. I love the competition of it. It's so much fun. John, what's going on? I know you are super excited for this one. I have never been as excited about a game for Monthly Mayhem than I am right now. I am psyched up and ready for June. Yes. You know, we're going back to a little bit of the roots here with Monthly Mayhem this time around. Um, it's some of that friendly competition that we both love, which makes this so much fun. So I'm excited. Let's not really delay this any longer, but let's introduce the game for this monthly May. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games! And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th. And there it is, Clubhouse Games... Drew, I'm super excited about this one. Clubhouse Games comes out June 5th. That's Friday. And our competition will be starting on June 8th. Monday. Uh, that is Monday. This is going to be... We're going we're gonna to model this one a lot like the Mario Kart competition. Yes. And um, I'm excited about it, Drew. I, like, should we I'm go super through it? Excited. Let's, let's yeah, go through this. Absolutely. Super excited for this one. All right. There are going to be two teams. Team one is Drew's clues i like it i like well it. i mean defendant champs just want everyone to remember that soon to be dethroned nope. by john's pawns uh you're already you're already calling your teammates down downward to them we're calling Speaking revenge down man to them. wait we're calling you know what pawns become queens in which world john which world is that in the chess world <laughs> so we're going to have two teams, Drew's Clues and John's Pawns. And over the next, uh, starting starting on June 5th, when the game comes out, um, all the way through Sunday, um, give you a chance to pick up the game if you'd like to. Maybe you want to you want to read some reviews, see if you're going to be interested in it, play around with it. Um, and it gives you, gives you three days to decide if you want to get in on this tournament. Um, so we're going we're gonna to pick sides like we did before. You pick which team you want to be on, Drew or John. Um, we do have to make sure the teams are even. Um, we can't have, you know, 10 versus nobody. Um, so yeah, we don't want to hurt be... John's feelings. <laughs> even Drew's going to be one on my team. Um, we are going to need to decide that by midnight on Sunday. That's midnight Eastern time. So basically you have the entire weekend to pick your team. We will start June 8th, and that is when we're going to put out our little bracket. So basically right now we don't know the official format for this competition we need a few days to play through this game and uh get an idea because nobody has this game right now um so we're just gonna give ourselves a few games you guys should take a few days and play through and see what you like play through the game see what you like what you don't like mm -hmm. and now here is going to be the format um through the month we're going to have a series of high score contests that are going to last throughout the month okay you can play in one of the games you can play in all of the games uh just like with mario kart you don't have to play each one 
Um, we're going to have rankings, and you guys are going to show your screenshots, and we're going to maintain the rankings. Um, and you're going to basically try to score for your team. Get first place. You're going to get the most points for that high score uh, in that game. So some of the games, uh, Drew, do you want to go through some of the games that uh, we yeah. might see at the high score contest? So, again, nothing solidified yet because there's a lot of options, but some great potential games for high scores um, are games like Toy Baseball. Uh, you think back to when so we did – um, did uh, you know the Mario Party baseball game? I'm thinking a lot like that. So much uh, fun. Billiards. We don't know if there's going to be like a scoring system where maybe you know the fewest shots to get all the balls in the pockets. We'll have to see. Of course, my personal favorite, which hopefully I will dominate, golf. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be nine holes or eighteen holes, but again, it'll just be the lowest score. Is this the kind of golf where when you swing the club? The golfer goes flying, or is you know, where the John, ball goes? Why? Why are you gonna ruin a good, good episode we have going on right now? <laughs> uh, also, potential is uh, six ball puzzle. We don't really know a lot about that one, but we thought there's a score involved. Uh, of course, darts, and I know that one to be Joy-Con only. So that will be a lot of fun. Motion control, yes, only motion uh, control in this game, which so is that's awesome. Just, um, just some of what we're thinking. But John, why don't we tell them about? the even more exciting second part of this monthly mayhem that, that kind of goes hand in hand with this, right? So, uh -huh. so that's the first part that goes from day one, June 8th, all the way until we have our completion date. You can continue to submit scores and they'll be compared to other players and you'll get points based on that. So that's, that's going to be fun. That's just a part of monthly mayhem. What's the other part, John? Right. So the other part is going to be uh, this is going to be like the Olympics, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, before everybody could just play whatever they wanted to. Um, this time we're going to have a series of events and we haven't decided them directly, but we're going to have a series of events. And every member of the team that they're on is going to sign up for that event. So, for example, we might have chess checkers and people can sign up and say, hey, I was in my high school chess class. And I'm pretty good at chess, and I want to sign up for the chess competition. And mm -hmm. everyone's going to pick uh, probably like one or two competitions. We have to see how many players there's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to sign up for you know what it is you're going to play. Yep. And we're going to have you guys do one-on-one -on -one matches with each other. So you're going to have to coordinate with the, you know, the person. So, for example, if we do the chess, right, and you got, you got Tony and you got Joe, and they got to play each other in chess, right? Um, they need to coordinate with each other. What's a good time for you to play? Blah, 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 blah. And then meet online, play that game, and then report the result back. So this is a lot like Wargroove, yes. where you reported the results of your matchup. And the uh, beauty about this is a lot of these games are short and sweet. I know Wargroove was tough. It would be sometimes a two-hour battle. Oh, um, so hopefully fun. these games will move move a lot quicker. But this yes. is this is super fun. This is super exciting. This is going to be the, the mojo and feel that we had in that Mario Kart, where... You know, I have my own Discord, a little private chat. John has his little private chat, and we're talking. And ultimately, it will be our decisions to, to kind of pick our team members in that slot, right? So if I have three people that say, I'm awesome at checkers, you know, we're going to have to talk it out and say, all right, well, hey, Tony, you're good at checkers, but you're you're really good at chess, so I don't have a lot of good chess players. I need you to play chess for me. Yeah. Um, it's going to be, it's, it's going to require some thinking there and uh, some strategy on who you put in, what spot. Yeah, and, and if you have somebody, like, you play a game like Toy Curling, right? Mm. I mean, nobody nobody's, like, the Toy Curling champion, right? Oh, so so somebody's got to volunteer to say, I'm going to take Toy Curling, and I'm going to be practicing. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I, I'm going to practice this to represent our team. And they might play a lot of Toy Curling versus any of the other ones. Or you're going to have somebody that says Othello, and someone, and my whole team's going to say, I don't even know what the hell Othello is. And I'm right. going to have to say, go watch some YouTube you know, videos, figure out how to play that damn game and get on yeah. top of it. Exactly. You're going to say Ibisel. Yeah. <laughs> Go he's, figure you know, out Othello. I want you sapped in. That's who I was thinking. I think he's I think he's a sleeper in Othello. <laughs> I might try to draft him for that game. Well, we got phase two of the online now. So Congrats. once we finish the one-on-one -on -one matchups, uh, we're going to have the two-on-two -two matchups. Yes. And this is when it's going to get really fun. Uh, we're gonna have two on two matchups, and there's gonna there's a, there's less games that are two v two online. Mm. Um, we might all be playing the same game, who knows? But one of those games is gonna be Texas Hold'em. Oh, oh yeah, so we're gonna have some two on two it's Texas Hold'em for the scores, and um, that'll be in the second half of the competition. So, I mean, I'm super excited. The strategy behind this, I'm I'm really curious to see how my team, your team, 
sort of figures out a strategy. Before, it was just like the best Mario Kart racers rose mm-hmm. to the top. But I feel here, like this is less skill, a little bit of luck, a little bit yeah. of skill, a little bit of fun, a little bit of outsmarting your opponent. This is this is going to be fun. And you know what I think might be fun is to throw in just a couple of games that nobody knows about. Some of these, some of these, like you know, these mahjong looking games, or just something a little different. Maybe a little backgammon, something to just kind of mix it up, where we're not playing Connect Four or something that we all know, and just to see who's gonna who's gonna sit there and play a game they don't know. Um, I'm I'm really excited for it. I'm I'm really excited for it. Absolutely. Um... So why don't you wrap up with the the rules bit there, John? Yeah, so we're going to have some rules. And like I said, on Monday, these are going to become more official. But the basic format is going to be that the highest scorer on the winning team is going to win the $15 eShop prize. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we're going to do a lotto drawing amongst the rest of the winning team. Everyone's going to get one lotto ball. It doesn't matter what your rank was. Mm -hmm. If you participated on on the winning team, um, you have an equal chance to win the lotto for the $10 eShop card. Mm -hmm. So if you play for the winning team, you have essentially two chances to win. Um, and that's, I mean, that, that, that's motivation enough to, like, get it done. Absolutely. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. So, so once again, uh, the competition is, is really going to be, begin on June 8th. Um, but for the June 5th through June 7th, um, play through the game. See what you think. And then June 8th, uh, you're going to wake up nice and early in the morning, and you're going to see a little graphic from Drew, and it's going to have all of the events we're going to play and the scoring, and uh, we're going to be ready to rock. And by the way, one last thing, just as a reminder, um, you will need a copy of Clubhouse Games to play this. The the, the local wireless you know, one, one copy of the game thing does not apply, so just know... You will need a copy of this game to play. And I think, what is it? Is it $40? I think it's $40. It is, $39.99, yeah. yep. Digitally yeah. so or um, hard copy, right? And, and the thing that's exciting about this is this is a game for the whole family. There's lots of great games on here that are fun to play. And you get a little figurine that you get to pick. And when you play people, little figurines talk to each other. And there's local multiplayer I think this is a game you get to play bowling. You get like you get wee bowling on this thing. I mean that's worth the price, is it not? So um, there's lots of great fun for the family here, but then you get the, the competition as well. So uh, absolutely, I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm stoked. But John, we're not done yet because done. just like every monthly mayhem, we want to make monthly mayhem open for all participants and listeners. So the only way to do that is to introduce not just one game of Clubhouse Games, but an additional game. And as you know, we've been bringing back the retro gaming and no other. Again, as we talk about the Switch Online features, we're headed on over to the Super NES this time, and we're going with no other than Wild Guns for the Super Nintendo. So Wild Guns is kind of a little bit of a, you know old arcade-type shooter game. And uh, we figured it's easy. And the way we're going to do it this time around is since we have these teams is Wild Guns is going to be one of the high score contests. Um, Like I said, similar to golf or toy baseball, that's going to go throughout the entire competition the month of June. And it's going to just be based on your points. So just like an arcade shooter, you get points that accumulate throughout your game. It's a short game, about 45 minutes to beat. However, you don't have to beat it. You can play for five minutes and take a screenshot and submit your score, uh, your points total score, and that will be compared to the other people. So super easy. It's just going to be one of the, again, high score contests within. So if you want to play, make sure you tell us by Sunday. You don't need Clubhouse Games. Obviously, we want as many people to go out there and get it. It's going to be a fun. It's going to be a game that you can play with your kids, and it's going to be a party game you can play forever. So it's definitely one of those games to definitely pick up and kind of just have it. You know, I, I think it's I think, worth the money. Worth the money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap up this contest. We hope you guys are excited because I'm super excited. I know John's excited. I'm ready to defend the title as uh, the the defendant champ dad of, of, <laughs> of competition mayhems. And uh, Drew's clues are gonna are gonna kill it. Um, you're so, you're not gonna win this time, Drew. It's not happening. But uh, I will say, come to the Monthly Mayhem channel. You have to be a Discord member to join. So if you want to get in on this competition, um, just join the uh, the Patreon over at the Nintendo Dads. Um, come to Monthly Mayhem um, and pick your team. Let us know what team you want to be on. We'll uh, we'll start keeping up lists. 
Um, and yeah, we'll we'll discuss. Uh, eventually, you'll get in your little private chats, and uh, we'll be ready to go. So uh, I hope you uh, you're enjoying the game, and uh, participate, man. Join join in. Absolutely. It is free to join, as always, and make sure you do. And remember to keep in mind, there'll be a new episode of the Dad's After Dark Show coming out in just a few days this weekend into early next week. So be a lookout on that to see what John and I have been playing and to discuss all the other things. And we will also be discussing maybe a little bit more details on Monthly Mayhem since it will be the start. So make sure if you don't see the graphic or you're kind of confused, check on that episode. We'll explain a lot more in there as well. Thanks for listening. We hope you join us. We're looking forward to it. Friendly, fun competition. Not really. You better win if you're on my team. I'll see you guys next time. John, bring us home. Can't wait.